basically a scientist. I have done my M.Tech and uh, uh, PhD from IIT Delhi. And then, actually, I was on my way to Canada for my postdoctoral research when I got married and settled in Hyderabad. That was a bit of a change in the whole atmosphere that I had to go through. But <laughs> I think it was for the good. During my journey, you know what I found that there is no recognition for scientists till they attain a certain age, like something like 45, 50. So this factor was something which made students not to take science as a mainstream career. However, if you look at all the advancements that we see, for example, that you are seeing here, the projections, the camera, whatever, everything has been uh, invented by scientists. We are just using it. So the basic fundamental in all this is that one should have the uh, power to invent, discover, and then make use of it. So we are ultimately becoming end users, not the inventors, discoverers. What we have come up with is a no, society in which we can promote science at various levels of students. There are two aspects in promoting this. One is recognition. Unless you recognize somebody and pat on the back, the performance levels do not increase. Be that sports, arts, education, or do you take any field for that matter, unless they are recognized, the element of initiative performance doesn't come up. So the second factor in all this is knowledge, doing it, not theory. We have to practice. In science, in India, we find that practice is much less than a theory. Mostly it is theory that is practice and not the experimentation. My uh, father-in-law, in whose name we started this uh, society, which we call it as Dr. Kavir of Scientific Society, he was also a doctoral uh, um, person from Benares Hindu University. He was instrumental in setting up labs in Geological Survey of India. And uh, he was the person who inspired us by saying that young scientists in India should be recognized uh, at all levels. Otherwise, but the science does not progress. What we take is a technology from other in countries and then use it. But being in the government, he found it very difficult to do this task. Since both of us were from the chemistry background and both of us were doctorates in chemistry, we uh, continuously used to have discussions. Then one day, uh, his colleagues and uh, my husband, we had a discussion on this issue. And then we thought, why not start something in science wherein we can recognize these young children or young students and then uh, initiate them into a realm of science. How were, and then this hands-on thing that we were uh, talking about that we should, they should be given hands-on experience. In these two, we found that the experience that is for the hands-on experience, we need a lot of infrastructure and uh, resources to make it happen. However, for recognition, it was a much easier method. You know what, uh, those were the days when we didn't have, I mean, not very accessible to emails, computers, and others. So I was uh, one person doing all the job, postman, organizer, data collector, communicator, and whatnot. I used to go to all the research labs and universities in Hyderabad and then collect data regarding various institutions across Andhra Pradesh. We sent out applications and then we received just three applications for a research award. It was a bit disappointing, but it was still good because we could go ahead with the program. We called for the presentations in public like this. So actually the students got to present their research work at that age for the first time in front of a huge audience as well as eminent scientists. 
it was like they were quite excited about it because generally in science uh, they interact only in their own community or in their own institutions but this was a forum which they got where they could stand here and address the audience and believe me of the three whom they thought had the least communication skills was given the award because his work was the best than the other two. And uh, of course, the program was over. We all went back. We were happy. We concluded in a fantastic manner. We had good audience. But two weeks later, we got a message from this fellow. His name is Kandredi from uh, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology. When he reached his hometown, with his award, the whole hometown turned up to <coughs> welcome him and took him out in procession. So when uh, this was like something which he has never imagined in his life that uh, he could do something like this. He was from a remote village in Andhra Pradesh basically. So this was the thing that we were looking for, encouraging. So the second thing that he wrote was that because of this, he applied for a postdoc, he got a postdoc, and then right now he's working in a company called Biocrest in Iowa, USA. The same fellow, he came back in 2017 to another function of ours. He stood there, he accepted our invitation, came to our function, and then he said, which was what actually inspired us to go ahead all these years, this was like a Nobel Prize for me. And I still consider this the best prize in my life. See, there was no recognition at that age of below 30. So this was something which spurred one boy from a village to go forward in life. Like this, we have a number of stories over the years. However, like we go as we go ahead, uh, we realize that we should tap the men. We had uh, one of the uh, doctors, um, scientists, Dr. Dinesh. He was from National Institute of Nutrition. He came forward and said, oh, okay, this is all fine. You are uh, recognizing people at that level and uh, allowing them to take up a career in science. But what about young children? How do you incite them to take up science? Okay, that was when we thought, let us go ahead uh, and uh, address the school children. But that's an ocean, right? Um, from statistics, what I looked at, there are more than uh, 15 lakh schools in the India. And only in Hyderabad, we have more than 3,000 schools. So how do we address this problem? So we tied up with a couple of uh, government agencies to work, start work on that. This particular government agency, Andhra Pradesh Council of Science and Technology, it actually encourages uh, schools in districts, government schools in districts, to come up with various ideas for presentation. So we've tied up with them, and what do you notice? Here you are all sitting in a nice AC room, but that place, those boys or students were from villages. They did not even have uh, slippers to wear, nor did they know a word of English. But they were there to present their case. So the mandate of our society there was to encourage them to come out with their ideas and without any discrimination. Once we could identify those, we took a step ahead and we thought we should uh, at least provide some basic uh, um, uh, systems to them and we started some scholarships for them. Down the line, like as we were going ahead, we encompassed many more events because uh, this is not the ultimate way to go ahead. So we, wanted, we went ahead with quiz to tap the brightest of the minds. Uh, then we had uh, what we call a Spark Innovation Awards where uh, the students at school level come up with research papers on par with the research students. Then uh, we wanted to check the creativity, so we came up with the SMART Awards. SMART here means science meets art. So you are supposed to express your ideas in terms of art. As we are going ahead with all this, we say, like I mentioned earlier, we were in chemistry. So uh, everyone had this thought that why we were stuck to chemistry. 
because that was my expert area. So we were there. Initially, uh, the all these students, particularly the scientists, had a very uh, suspicious nature of why we were going ahead with this kind of thought of encouraging the students, whether it was something commercial, something uh, in it for us to grow, take from them. But then uh, over a period of years, they, the students started having trust in us. They started, um, what you call, feel the credibility of the awards, because uh, we used to have a judges panel, which is unbiased, and there was no differences, no preferences, we knew, uh, the way they were saying, no language barrier, even at research level, no uh, affiliations were considered, it was a capability of a student. So that is how our judges panel work. Slowly and steadily, the scientific community also started recognizing our effort, and uh, the great thing about this is, None of the scientists who have ever interacted with us has we had any chance to give any remuneration to them. They all come voluntarily and then uh, spend the day because their contention is that when they come here, they also learn from these students. So this is how we formed a base of awarding the students. Over a period of time, we included physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and uh, try to get judges because now the scientists started believing in our uh, intentions of selecting students. At this juncture, uh, that when we started one award, now we have almost 40 awards which we give annually. So we, during this journey, we had some significant uh, years in which we progressed slowly and steadily uh, as the numbers increased and we started getting demands from other states. So 2015 was a very important year for us. It was a year when Andhra Pradesh got split into Telangana and uh, Andhra. So we took this opportunity to spread south and all south states were taken into our fold and students from all the south states are coming. Every each of our programs we conducted through uh, Andhra Pradesh and that was the year um, which was the 95th birth anniversary of Dr. K. V. Rao. Our efforts were recognized by the postal department also and a special cover was released in his name. As we were just talking about these awards right now, so uh, we, as we are going forward, we now we had to think of mentoring. Because uh, down there we realized that yeah, when these people are presenting their work for a, a awards, their knowledge was based on whatever they were working on at that point of the time. Uh, but any question beyond that was they were not able to answer. So this was due to the lack of understanding of the concepts. So now we we wanted to get into the concept teaching, but that was very, they required a lot of infrastructure, it required a lot of resource pool, so which was beyond us because we were always self-funded. And uh, till 2018, we were funding uh, through efforts of our friends and uh, colleagues. So this uh, 2019 is a landmark year for us. We got funding from two uh, big sources. One was Electronic Arts, which is a gaming company. Uh, as part of the CSR, they offered to set up a lab in our office. So we came up with what we call this Science Innovation Center. And then we got another funding uh, for setting up a mobile science lab. Unfortunately, both funds came in the year 2020, January. Now COVID struck and everything stopped. No students, the labs are closed. Uh, fund is there in our account, but we cannot use it. Without fund and without students, it looked like a big failure for us. But thankfully, as and when the COVID abated, we completed our infrastructure and we are ready for the both the uh, facilities by 2022, April. And uh, believe me, the moment we started uh, giving our service to the students, 
line, the last one year, we could cater to 6,000 students, both in our lab and the mobile. These two are based on concept learning, wherein what we do is, we have, we develop our own kits to uh, teach any concept. For example, you take sound, electricity, or magnetism, or whatever it is. So the kit contains some 10 to 15 experiments, right from 8th class, 7th class to 10th class. And depending on the requirement of the school, we just allow them to use it and uh, learn. This is not the only method that we use. Now, to improve that uh, concept uh, learning, we add games. We have other, um, uh, what we call as puzzles, uh, quizzes, added to all these things. So what you generally learn in a class in three, four days can be learned in one single day. That too, an eighth class person can learn what a tenth class person can learn. At the same time, together. So this is what our concept kit contains and we are able to uh, generate interest in that. Of course, the buses and innovation labs are not restricted to government schools because from the statistics we find that government schools get adequate funding and elite schools have adequate fund. But these are the um, lower private schools which, in which most of our middle class families send their children. These are the people uh, who require support because these schools do not have adequate funding and there are no labs. So this, uh, this is what is the success story of this concept learning. Today, see, we, all these awards and all which we uh, give, why they actually have reached this uh, credibility factor is that the, the support that we get from the scientists. All, and our awardees, in these 23 years, uh, all those awardees who are below 30 years have grown to be about 50 years and they are placed in various uh, in reputed institutions. So these people, more than 80% of these awardees are with us and then they support in our various activities. So that gives a credibility to the awards as well as this concept teaching. Science has a great potential in India. So I hope you will start enjoying science and look at it as a fun. Thank you so much.